Welcome photographers. Today Mrs. Steele is going to demonstrate how to load your film. Okay, so I have one of these old manual cameras. Um, the newer cameras, they'll load your film automatically most of the time. Um, but for these ones, you need to make sure that you do a certain few things. So, first of all, opening the back of the camera, you're going to pull up this part here and open it up. Now, here's your film. We always use the 400 ISO film. And you're going to take it out of its little canister. And you'll see that there's a tab. And also there's like a little part that comes up at one end. That part always wants to be going down when you're putting it into your camera. No matter what kind of camera it is. Because you want the negative to sit nice and flat across the back of the, the, back, of the back of the camera. And I'm going to push this back down so that it holds the film in place. And I'm going to pull the film across to the other side with a more of an automatic camera you would just place the film over there and just leave it close the back and it will load automatically but with one of these ones you need to thread it into this part here into here and then make sure that it has gone around um, the spindle before you close the back in case it pops out while you're taking photos okay so to do that and turn the camera on and I'm going to wind the film advance lever take a photo the shutter wind it again take another one and I like to make sure that it's gone around completely around the spindle before I close the back just in case it pops out if it pops out and um, while you're taking photos then you'll end up taking no photos at all and develop a film that's completely blank so we don't want to do that so close the back so it clicks and then before you start shooting you need to take two photos which is going to move the piece of film that is at the back there across to the other side with the back on so that there is a piece of film ready in the frame behind the lens that hasn't been exposed to light yet so that you're ready to take photos so once you've done that then you can go and take your photos making sure you've got your settings all correct so you've checked your shutter speed and your aperture um, to make a correct exposure.